get up. When I talk to you, I want you to answer me. Do you understand? Get your slimy hands off of me. Oh, I should have slapped your ears back when you ran away. I'll get away. You wait and see. Why, you help me. Oh. 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 Yeah, you don't have to wait long. Boy, they're going to be here Friday. Five beautiful girls, Mr. Haig. Talk about Kathy. This is the whole candy store. <laughs> yeah, just be sure this candy isn't too rich for your own good, honey. Johnny, I've got a great idea. Look, the Bidwell Troop's coming to town tomorrow. Now, I was thinking... Bidwell Troop? I never heard of them. Kelly, give me some coffee, will you? You've never heard of the Bidwell girls? Johnny, I'm starting to get worried about you. What are you doing? Checking the map of the ranches around here. Just received a wire from Fort Camden. Another ranch has been raided. Four people killed and 50 head of cattle run off. Yeah. What does the Army say? Well, according to them, some scalps were taken. They think by some young Apaches that raided the Landau Reservation. That's about the third ranch that's been raided in the last couple of days. Fourth. And ten people killed. Sure does sound like Apaches. All that scalping and everything. You know, there's one possibility that the Army might not have thought of. What's that? Comancheros. Common what? Comancheros. Who are they? They're a vicious tribe of half-breeds, hated by both white men and Indian. They have no particular code to live by. They're completely lawless. Never heard of them. I don't believe that just a few Apaches could use that much beef. But common sheriffs could take them across the border and make themselves a nice profit. Um, how can you be sure, Johnny, that it's common sheriffs? Well, you can't be sure. But I know one thing. They don't leave any witnesses around to identify them. Johnny, Tully, come here, quick. Johnny, look at this. Ed Wilson found her about 10 miles out of town. Let's get her in my office. Feel a little better now? I'm Sheriff Ringo of Velarde. Think you could answer a few questions? Did you say Velarde? Mm-hmm. Finally made it. Seems as if I died halfway here. Can you tell me what happened, Miss... Uh... Carol Carpenter. I'm with Billy Bidwell's troop. She's one of the showgirls. We were coming to Velarde. We were supposed to be here tomorrow. Miss Carpenter, what happened? Oh, Billy, our manager, hired two drivers back at Five Maples, and one of them shot him, and they said it was an accident. Where? At, at Brisson Canyon. Did you or anyone else see the shooting? No. No, but it wasn't an accident, Mr. Ringo. Why would the drivers want to kill your manager? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I just had to get away. Please help the other girls. They're out there. Kelly, get some provisions and head out for Brisson Canyon. We'll try to pick up the trail. Right. George, I'd appreciate it if you'd stay with her until Doc Bardell gets here. All right, Johnny. When will you and Cully be back? Cully's going alone. <laughs> I don't know about this carpenter girl's story, Cully, but we gotta check it out. I'd go with you, but with these raids... I'll be all right. It should take me a good eight or nine hours to reach Brisson Canyon, if they're still there. I'll tell you what, Cully. The Army wants me to look into that last ranch that was raided. I'll drop by there in the morning, then see you in the afternoon at Brisson Canyon. See you tomorrow, then. Now, uh, you don't know what you're getting into, so why don't you put that badge away, at least till I see you. 
remember, don't tell anybody who you are. May forget myself, Johnny, if they're all as pretty as Carol. So long, Johnny. Good luck. One of you did it. Do I get an answer or do I beat it out of you? All right. I'll start with you. You leave Pam alone. She had nothing to do with it. If you want to blame somebody, try us. Well, come on, Dolan. Come on, how about it? All right. We've had our usual morning pleasantries. Let's all settle down. That's better. Just one big happy family. They haven't heard the last from me. Before this trip is over, I'll show... You keep your hands off, then. Do you hear me, Dolan? Trouble with you is you don't know how to treat women. I know how to handle their kind. Well, you gotta be gentle, understanding. Instead of a cuff, uh, give them a little kiss. How about it, Nora? You want your throat cut? You see what I mean? Ah, oh, forget it. Come here. Now listen, we gotta get out of here. We can't sit around here forever with that girl getting away. Looks like we got a visitor. Now you listen good. You keep your mouth shut, or you'll wish you were dead. Smoke. Ran out of food yesterday. Oh, sure. I'll have one of the girls get you something to eat. Thanks. I'm Clint Logan, and this is Kirk Dolan. My name's Cully. Took a fall and hurt my leg yesterday. Bedwell trope. Show people, huh? Yep. Songs and dances and just all kinds of laughs. Our manager met with an accident the other day. Slowed us up a bit. Well, that's too bad. Serious? Almost killed him. Thanks. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry to hear about Mr. Bidwell. What happened? He was shot. And he was cleaning his rifle. Yeah, Billy always was careless. Rifle? But he wasn't cleaning. By the way, I don't think you know us. I'm Rhoda. I'm Nora. And uh, that's Pam and Lydia. Uh, Rhoda, you and the girls help stow the gear. Let one of the girls look after that leg. I'll do it. You sit on the log, I can help no, you. No, it's, it's all right. Really, I can't No, really, it's you. nothing. Deputy Sheriff. Listen, I'm trying to help you. We found Carol Carpenter. She told us what happened to Bidwell. Who killed him? I did. man, mister, but you leave me no choice. I can't very well leave a deputy sheriff to talk. Now, when you've committed murder, well, I guess you can't. Maybe I ought to turn you over to the Comancheros, too. Comancheros? What have they got to do with this? Haven't you heard? They pay very well for women. Take it easy, Sonny. They won't hurt them. They're too valuable. 
They'll just hold them as hostages until they get their ransom. Hold it! Drop that gun. Boy, am I glad to see you. Why? With all this taffy around? <laughs> Now let's have some answers. I want to know where that Comanchero camp is. I don't know. I tell you, I don't know. Logan told Cully you were delivering these girls to the Comanchero camp. Now, where is it? Look, mister, I'm way out of my territory, and this badge doesn't mean a thing, so I'm free to knock your head right off. All right. But promise I didn't tell you. They'll cut me in two. We were supposed to meet them at Sapin's Creek at sundown. They're heading for Mexico. How many are there? Just a few. Sundown. That doesn't give us time to contact the army. So we'll try and surprise them. How about it, Cully? Nothing else to do, I guess. What about the girls? I don't know. It's up to them. Bring our friend along. girls are going to have to make a decision. The Comancheros are at Sapin's Creek. They'll be heading for Mexico in about two hours. What decision? What have the Comancheros got to do with us? Well, Logan was taking it to them. They were going to hold you for ransom. Now it's uh, too late to bring in the army, so Cully and I are going to try to take them by surprise. I can give you a wagon, head you for Velarde, but you'll have no escort. And Dolan could be lying. Those Comancheros could be close by. Well, you can come with us and we'll give you all the protection we can. Well, what do you want us to do? Well, it's up to you. But I'd rather if you came with us. Those Comancheros are probably expecting two wagons. Well, I don't understand it. Why can't you just send the army after them later? Because those Comancheros will be in Mexico tomorrow. This is our only chance. Of course, we could all go back to Velarde. But first, there's one thing I want you girls to know. Those renegades have already butchered four families, women and children included. If we don't stop them now, there's no telling how many more they'll kill. Why can't we just stay here, then? Come back for us when it's over. What if we don't come back? Can you give us some time to think it over? Yes, you got about an hour. If you have until then to let me know. Right. One hour. Just remember, I want you girls to all agree on what you do. Come on. something. We'd be hostages in that Comanchero camp right now if it weren't for him and Cully. That's right. That's right. Now, we've always done things together, and that's the way we're going to decide this. Personally, I vote we go with Ringo. I just don't want to be out here alone. With, with Ringo, we have a chance. Some chance? Well, I declare you've all lost your reason. If no one wants to stay here, I vote we get Mr. Ringo to take us back to Velarde. No, Lydia, Pam's right. Now, you heard what Ringo said. Look, we've got a chance to do something, something good. I've seen what those commentaries can do, and it's not pretty. I'm with Nora. Well, all of you do what you please, but I'm not going. Lydia, and there's no it. sense trying to talk me out of it. The rest of you be thankful to Mr. Ringo and get yourself killed. Not this girl. Lydia, you got a head like a rock. Now listen, you, Look, with Nora. Everyone but Lydia has agreed to go with Ringo. Now, isn't that a majority? Looks like you've been outvoted, honey child. That's right, Lydia. Oh, no, you don't. You use your majority on somebody else. The vote's in, Lydia, and you lose. Mr. Ringo said we all had to agree. Let's see what he has to say about this. Let go of me. We don't need any help settling this. Then you all better change your minds about going with them. We're not going to change our minds, honey, but we sure can change yours. Come on, Nora! Come on, give me a hand. Come on. Oh. All right, girls, that's... 
Just enough exercise for today. We was coming to tell you that... <laughs> That's enough! I've got enough to worry about without refereeing your fights. Now, it's time you grew up and started acting like ladies. Ladies? She doesn't know the meaning of the word. If she's a lady, I'm... That's enough. Besides, your nose is shiny. Now, what's this all about? Lydia, come here. Ringo, Lydia was coming to tell you something. We've decided to go with you, haven't we, Lydia? I guess so. Well, I don't know whether I approve of your methods or not, but thanks anyway. When do we leave? In about a half an hour. Timing has to be just right. Everything's going to work out now. Thanks, Cully. Let us know when you're ready to go, huh? Cully, help the girls load up and then unsaddle our horses and tie them up. We'll leave them here. All right. That's all right, girls. I'll take care of them. Thank you. In the wagon, Logan. Got it all figured out, Ringo? You better have. I've seen what the common sheriffs can do to their prisoners. Don't worry, Logan. If this doesn't work, you'll be in on the party. They'll know you told us where their camp is. Drive. I'll take this other one. We'll stop about a mile from Sapin's Creek. Let's go. Come on, Dolan. About time for you to meet your business associates. Look, I didn't want to do it. Ringo Logan made me. Sure, I know. You thought you were just on your way to church. Now get up there. be getting pretty close, so keep your eyes open, but don't cry until I do. Right. I'll make every shot count, Kelly. We'll take them by surprise, but the odds are still against us. Uh, you're wrong, Johnny. The odds have just evened up.
they come. Tully, drop back. Everybody down. Don't make a sound. If they suspect a trap, they'll open up on us. Remember, Dolan, you've got a better chance with me than you do with them. I told you Ringo I had nothing to do with it. Just drive the wagon and keep your mouth shut. Let's go. always look quite like this. I wouldn't miss it. Rhoda, you plan on staying in town long? About two weeks. Of course, we're going to have to find a new manager, but I don't think we're going to have any trouble. And after all, we're harmless. Hey, Johnny, come on! Oh, uh, we better go. I know Cullen, he's not harmless. Thank you. 
get up. You hear what I said? Get up. When I talk to you, I want you to answer me. Do you understand? Get your slimy hands off of me. Oh, I should have slapped your ears back when you ran away. I'll get away. You wait and see. Ah! Why, you help. Oh. Oh. This is for me. Yeah, you don't have to wait long. Boy, they're going to be here Friday. Five beautiful girls, Mr. Haig. Talk about Kathy. This is the whole candy store. <laughs> yeah, just be sure this candy isn't too rich for your own good, honey. Johnny, I've got a great idea. Look, the Bidwell Troop's coming to town tomorrow. Now, I was thinking... Bidwell Troop? I never heard of them. Carla, give me some coffee, will you? You've never heard of the Bidwell girls? Johnny, I'm starting to get worried about you. What are you doing? Checking the map of the ranches around here. Just received a wire from Fort Camden. Another ranch has been raided. Four people killed and 50 head of cattle run off. Yeah. What does the Army say? According to them, some scalps were taken. They think by some young...